years now and uh, it's kind of become part of my my life uh, if you would say kind of a, it's my everyday uh, instinct to kind of want to do this stuff and, and uh, I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie so it runs in that too um, there's a number of reasons why I want to do this um, the cultural aspect I love being a part of um, the Portuguese community um, I take great pride in being Portuguese um, take great pride in, in helping our Portuguese community and so um, being surrounded by the Portuguese community and carrying out things that our ancestors have done for a long time makes me happy uh, so those are some of the reasons uh, we also started the group because of the camaraderie that you get with these guys uh, like I said I've been doing it for nine years and we make a lot of good friends um, and where they become almost like brothers to you uh, so there's that aspect of it, just the, the family bonding that you get uh, every week, you know, going to a, a practice. It's like a family uh, dinner, right? And, and it helps that we, that we cook out at practice, too. So, so we do get to share meals with each other and, and drinks with each other and, and laughs. Uh, so there's that aspect of it. We, we really want to build something special for the community. Uh, like I said, uh, we plan on, on giving back a lot more than, than has been done in the past with groups. Uh, our group plans on giving a lot back to the community. And so it's something that, you know, we, we're excited about. Um, it's going to take a while for the group to um, to build and get a structure underneath it before we can start carrying out some of these plans. But um, we're really, really excited about some of the things we got going on. Hey, good. Still need to bend these in a little bit more. This needs to come in. This needs little, to come you in. You look like a little baby koala. Yeah? Like a little, with, your, with, your hair, with, the, with your hair and everything, you like a little baby koala just on the mom's titty. Can't be jumping. Don't be nervous. That was nervous. Did you win? You got the eye? On three. One, two, three. Three, 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 three. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. I'm good. Oh yeah. That's actually kind of cool. That's really rough. <laughs> oh, thank you. Where you at, motherfucker? That was a good hit. <laughs> All right, we're rolling. Yeah. Yeah. What? Uh, how's it feel starting your group? Uh, there's a lot of anxiety, nervousness, but uh, a lot of excitement as well. Looking forward to it. Yeah, looking forward to, uh, to what's going what's gonna to play out. So why did you take time off for a year and decide to come back and start a new group? Um, 
The reason why I took time off was uh, I just I didn't the situation that I was in. I just didn't feel like um, I felt like that that chapter of my life was over. So I decided just to walk away, and I thought that I was walking away for good, but then certain situations appeared and made me realize that um, I wasn't quite done yet. That I still have a, still have a, a flame, a flicker of a flame going on for, for this art form. That's about all I gotta say about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, what, that's about what, it. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. What uh, What are your expectations for this year? Um, you know, honestly, if uh, if we could get two or three bullfights, I'd be really happy with that. If we could build build a solid group of about ten to twelve guys, would be great. Fifteen would be pretty extraordinary if we could make that happen. Um, and then if we could just obviously grab bulls, that's what we do. But we also want to want to build our, our culture up in our community so I'm looking forward to that. The other things that we, we got planned to do besides just grabbing bulls. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, yeah. So why be a Forcado to begin with? Why be a Forcado to begin with? Um, I, didn't, I don't think I chose to be a Forcado. I think it chose me uh -huh. and I'm glad it did. It's, um, I like a lot of things. I've liked a lot of things, but uh, it's the only thing I've truly loved. I can honestly say I love it. Um, anybody that knows me knows that I, I like to just dabble in a hundred things and and just go crazy on all kinds of things. But uh, this is the only thing that I've given a hundred percent. This is the only thing I can really truly commit to because I, I love it through through and through. Even the even the bad stuff about it, which is very little. What can you identify? What it is that you love about the sport? What I love about the sport, um, I would call it more of an art form, that, and I, I like that aspect of it the most. To be able to, there's, I mean, everybody's got issues, you know, whatever, whatever the issues may be, and uh, to know that I could go out in a in a situation that's complete chaos and just push all those issues behind me and just focus in on one thing, it's it's like I have ADHD and this is the only thing that, that calms me down. It's the only thing that calms me down. So basically when I was younger, I, go, I used to go to the bullfights and I used to watch uh, the Suicide Squad guys go out there and do their thing. And I never knew exactly what it was until I got a little bit older. And uh, it seems like we're something of a dying breed. And uh, it's, it's just something that has to do with heart, passion. It's, just, it's something fun to do, camaraderie. I mean, something to do with the boys, hang out. Uh, it's just something extracurricular that, that it's fun, but you can get hurt. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, gotta help Renee out in there, man. Here's the hit, Renee. All right. You were fine. You guys, back three, you guys gotta yeah. catch her. <laughs> you guys did you fine. All right. Hey, back three. You guys gotta be there to catch her. You guys alright? Yeah. One, three. two, one. Two. Huh? Three. Three. Always fuck with me. My name is Kyle Holguin. They uh, call me Mud Flat. And uh, this is my first year doing this, bullfighting. I just met a lot of these guys out here about a month ago. And uh, Kyle Otis brought me out to practice. And uh, I knew it was something I was going to like for sure. You know, the uh, kind of the adrenaline thing. And, camaraderie with the guys and a bunch of good guys who have fun and uh, today's our first practice lab animals so I'm a little excited really excited a little nervous but uh, I'm looking forward to it it's gonna be a fun year and uh, getting to know everybody and having a good time why do they call you mud flap uh, <laughs> they call me mud flap I used to go I hunt a lot and on the, on the radio we have handles so you know everybody has their own nickname and when I was a kid, well, I still got big ears, but my uh, buddy started calling me Mudflat because I had big ears, so <laughs> that's where that all started. And it kind of just uh, stuck, I guess. So now I got the, these guys are all calling me the same thing, so. should have never let that go Yeah. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody always asks why, too. Yeah, sure. But, uh, yeah, so Luso Americanos. Nice. Nice, Ray. Come around. Oh. Good shit, guys. Uh, yeah, good shit, <laughs> on, tra on trace for the Mexicans. 
Oh no, don't spray, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Raymond Oliveira. And why did you? Uh, why are you doing this? Why are you becoming a forcado? Um, well, I became a forcado years ago. I, I don't even know how long. Maybe seven years ago, something like that. Uh, with the other group, with Opposent, uh, along with another group member of mine here, Donald. Uh, he started just. I learned that he started on the group, and I was very good friends with him. And I always grew up going to all the bullfights and watching it and I was, you know, was very interested in it but never thought that I was, you know, a big enough guy to do it or whatnot. Then he joined and I didn't know anybody else in the group and I felt like I should join so go help him out because, you know, I don't know anybody else in the group. And so I started it that way. Uh, I did it for, I don't know, four years, something like that. And uh, was on a hiatus and then all of a sudden, this group started to form new, so he asked me to come back. So here I am, trying to help out. Nice. So, so far, so good? So far, so good. Having a good time, camaraderie, hanging out. That's what it's about. So why? Why do this stuff? You may um, have just answered the question, but that's... <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's like, it's an art form. I like it. It's, uh, there's a lot to it. First, I thought it was just a bunch of dumb Portuguese in a line, you know, trying to get a bull. But there's a lot to it. Uh, like I said, it's like an art form to me. It takes a lot of honor, courage, and uh, all the stuff like that. I enjoy that very much. Hey, hey, get around, get around! Get Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
The other one, the other good one that I always enjoy is football players that come out. Just like when I'm killing you, you don't go tell them you can offer them. Yeah, dude, I'll take a hit. They're used to giving hits, so they'll lean into it and they'll be all flat. <laughs> like me. Uh, like on that video oh, yeah. where you ran into it? I was all boom! <laughs> <laughs> like this. Yeah, a little pepper knocked me flat on your head. Knocked the wind out of you. Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Frankie Silvera. Um, we started the group already earlier this year. Um, we weren't really happy with what was going on before, but we're trying to make some changes. We're having our first live practice today. Uh, it's looking pretty good. We got plenty of help. Luckily, we got some old timers come help us set up the cows. We got some cows from Germanosaurus. Uh, trying to break some rookies in. Hopefully, uh, it all goes nice and uh, open for the best, really. What brought you to become a forgotten? Beer <laughs> and uh, and friends and uh, mainly just friends. Got me into it and once I started I kind of just got hooked on it. It's something I've come to like. Uh, it's a rush. It's a rush. The rush is what gets you grilled in hard. After that first bull, you, it's hard not to go back. You know? How long have you been going? Uh, three years. Probably going on four. I've been hurt a year, though. I tore my ACL playing football, so I sat out a year. And that's kind of when we left the other group and kind of doing our own thing now. But I tore my ACL playing football, of all things. But uh, it's getting better now. It's still not 100%, but it's looking, it's good enough to break again. Yeah. Was it uh, hard to learn how to do what uh, what you do? Uh, just watching. Watch video helps a lot. And really, the experience. Once, I mean, you just have to go to Bulls to know what to do. Hard to teach. You can, you guidelines. You could, guidelines help, but it's, it's just trial and error, mainly. But the thing is, is not every Bulls the same. A perfect, somebody doing it for years could make could look like a rookie one day. But, yeah. So it, it, it helps to know bulls in general to understand sort of. And, where yeah, it's, it's good to know the animal. Uh -huh. And I've been, I, we have a dairy, so I'm kind of been around animals. Not the dairy animals or anything like these wild cows, but you know, you get a feel for the animal themselves, cows in general. And, uh,. I think I think it helps. I've, I mean, I just been grew up around animals and stuff like that, so we'll see. Today should be interesting. And then slot, yep, and then get her, and then get her out. Stay straight. 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 Stay Get up, 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 get so once you're down, down, down let go everybody, let go. get out of the way. And then we'll either, when it's at practice, we'll stop yeah, the pool yeah. so you don't get ran over. But in real real time, you don't want to be holding on because you'll fucking 
So when you're down, you just kind of let go, get back up. Because you guys roll on a pile here, you got to let go. And you drag them on. Stick him, stick him. into the belly, you mother. Go, 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 go. Nothing wrong with that. Nah, Look at the oh my fucking lineup. Come on, guys. Woo. You ready? Yeah, I'm okay. rolling. Well, uh, last year, I knew Chops, uh, Joseph, which he's not in it, but uh, they always went around. They always took me to practices, and I liked it, but I couldn't, I couldn't do it because I had a back sprain. And so when... Uh, they told me they were starting a new team. I just, it felt right to join. And uh, I'm here I am, this is my first practice. I got, got a horn to my ribs, which is pretty cool. It hurts, but it's cool. So this is where we stand. What do you think will come up for the year? Um, hopefully something, everything good. Hopefully everything goes good, goes well. The team does good. Um, I'm just doing it just to an outlet. Just an outlet to do different things. I do we? I just work and go home. So this is an outlet for me. Jump! Yes! Nice boy! Nice shot, guys. Take those hits, Claudio. Thanks, Claudio. Great. Yeah. Straight. <laughs> One, two, three. Two, three, three, three. Yeah, a little different from last year. Do 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 Don't, 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 don't.